Hi guys, I'm Angel Alvarado and we're gonna be doing a Star Wars prom look. We've already set and primed her face. Now we're gonna start with her eyes. We're gonna start by using the Blackheart Interstellar palette. We're gonna start by using the shade Asteroid. You'll want to apply it all through the lid. And for the perfect blend and for better wear, make sure you prime so that all colors can be true to the palette. Continue blending through the lid and to the crease. Next, we're gonna move to a purple shade and I'm gonna mix Milky Way and Nebula. And that we're gonna add to the corner and to the crease of the eye. And don't be afraid to overlap the colors as this will be a better blend. We're gonna move with another clean brush onto Universe, which is Royal Blue. And we're adding that in the crease in the inner corner. Make sure you get this as tight as possible to the crease and not overlap with the lid. Kind of like a cut crease. like the consistency of these shadows. They don't have much fallout in the pigment. As you continue to work it in, it gets deeper and brighter. We will continue to add Milky Way to the lower lash line, but only to the mid eye. Continue to do light strokes so there's no harsh lines. Now we're going to highlight with sun at the tear duct and lower line. We'll be using the Black Heart Ombre Lip in the shade Black and Gray. We're gonna utilize this on the lips, but also on the eyes. We're gonna start with the black liner, and we're gonna get that close to the lash line. This is gonna give it that smoky effect that we're looking for. And don't be afraid to make it a little thick, or if it's a little not perfect, we're gonna blend this out. We're gonna use the black and also add a couple dots throughout on the crease. With a blending brush, we're gonna go back and just pat it out. This is creating depth and texture. With the same ombre dual lip, we're gonna go with a shade in gray under the waterline and bottom lash area. Mm -hmm. 
with a brush, you can go ahead and soften the edges to make sure it's a nice blend. With the same stick, I'm gonna go in back to the lid and apply some of the grayness into the crease. We're gonna use the Black Heart Cat Eyeliner. We're gonna go back to the lash line and distribute starting in the mid area to the crease. This is a very creamy liner, which is gonna really be nice. some color for depth and texture. We're gonna go in with mascara and you can choose whatever your favorite might be. I recommend using something dark and waterproof. Now we're gonna be using the black eyeliner in Klepto and the waterline. We're gonna go back in with the cat eye and darken a little more of the crease. brush, just soften the edges again. We'll be applying mascara to the bottom lashes. Apply some to the top. To go with the galaxy effect, we're going to be adding glitter to this and we'll be staying within the family of blues, purples, and magenta. You can apply the glitter using clear eyelash glue, dabbing the glitter onto your finger and placing it fried on the eye. Now dust off any excess glitter you may have on your face by using a clean makeup brush. To really make this eye look pop, we're also gonna add some lashes. When choosing lashes, make sure it's lashes that are gonna pop. You wanna like stand out and make sure that they're black because we're going with a really deep eye. Start by placing it in the inner eye and tap to the edge. Make sure you always size your lashes. You don't want to wear lashes that are too small or too big. The best way to size your lashes is by measuring them first. Don't have them go over the corner of your eyes and make sure that they fit perfectly to the inner corner and the tear duct. We're now gonna be using the Black Heart Contour Collection Kit. For this look, we're gonna use mostly bronze tones. We're not gonna be using much blush, 
as we want the focus point to be the eyes. Start at the top of the ear, working your way towards your lips and slightly disconnecting it, but still having that brush effect. Make sure that your contour is always blended. What's beautiful about this kit is that the bronzer actually has a really nice shimmer, but also a really nice warm undertone where you don't need blush. It works as a highlighter, but also a contour. Great combo. With the dark contour shade, we're gonna add some depth to her forehead, to the hairline, and to the temples. With the same shade, we're gonna go back to the ear area and stroke down to her chin, all through the jawline. To give her more of a pouty effect, I'm gonna add a little bronzer to the bottom of her lip. This is gonna create a shadow. Also, don't forget to contour your nose and along the bridge. With the same palette, we're gonna be highlighting. For lips, we're going to be using the Blackheart Fallen Petal shade. For lipsticks, I actually like applying some to a spoon and with a brush, taking it to your lips. You also want to set your look by using translucent powder. This will help everything stay in place all night. Don't apply the translucent powder to anything that's already been contoured. Apply it to the areas that are lighter than the rest. Let that sit for a few minutes, maybe about five to 10. And when you're ready, come back and dust it off. So this is a completed look for the Star Wars Darth Vader prom. If you want to take it that extra step, we've got this liner for you. LA Girl liner in white. We're going to be creating some extra depth by adding some dots and some stars. Here's your out of this world look for prom. May the force be with you.